Hello everybody! Welcome to another live stream. How are you guys doing? So today, my concept will be gaming. Oh wait. I'm hearing an echo, but that means that everything is okay. Yes, I'm live on YouTube. Let me do my uh, standard routine. Double check. Give me a minute. In the meantime, you can just show me your gaming coins so I can review them. Because I've been busy with researching my current picks. We have to stay updated, right? So, I'm live on Facebook. And on X. Okay, that's nice. So, hello Clay. How are you doing, bro? Good to see you again. Or Discord channel booster. Let's uh, let's just take out my spreadsheet. How are my gaming picks doing? Because I literally don't know. I've been DCAing my current picks. The only pick I've been DCAing from here. It's lit lab games. Let's let's take it up. Let's take it. Let's take lit lab out right now. What's happening? Eight million in market cap. Man, it's still so low, man. It's just unbelievable. Like I said, it's just the lack of exchanges. Otherwise, this would be like a one hundred million project or into the billions who knows i really think that this one can do a 100x and it's breaking out let's see where it goes let's see where it goes the seven day chart looks bullish as hell that's lovely finally guys finally thank you for dumping i love it i bought the dip along with the patreons i hope this comeback is going to melt faces. Hell yeah. Let me just come in a little bit, okay? I don't know what, what did I just say? Man, that sounds weird. Let's just take a look at the Twitter, man, because what are the current updates? I uh, heard a lot about the mobile game, that it's amazing, because you can play it now for free. I'm sorry for destroying your ears. So this is this is Cyber Titans, Lit Lab Games. They're a game. I don't know if the sound is all right. So if you cannot hear me, if you can hear me, or if the sound is not right, let me know, please. Man, I'm really struggling today. Always. Looks fun. I didn't play it myself. To be honest. I'm sorry if the music is annoying. So yeah, I think people are really sleeping now. It's in the app stores, guys. Uh, I might download it. Uh, 
after this live stream because I have no life. Okay, nice man. But they're holding esport tournaments and stuff. But yeah, I showed this a lot in my current, in my previous videos. Anyway, what's happening? I think everybody is out on the Saturday night and I'm just live streaming, talking about crypto as a real geek. But let's just take a look at the trending picks because gaming is a hot narrative, apparently. So let's just... So guys, if you have some gems to review, please let it be in the gaming narrative. Yesterday I had a AI live stream, but a lot of people just uh, asked about non-related AI cryptos. So please keep it clean. I appreciate it. Victoria VR. I made a video about Victoria VR as well. I do not hold it myself. I think it was at like a two cents when I made that video. Man, it this looks terrible. Yeah. I didn't hold it myself. And I hope that uh, most of you took profits. Even though the multipliers weren't really that insane. This looks terrible. This looks terrible. Yeah, when did I make the video? I think around here. But yeah, guys, I didn't put out a sell alert because I also didn't put out a buy alert. I made a video because I thought it was quite interesting because of the VR headsets. Uh, you know, the Apple headsets for the metaverse. They also have an own headset. So yeah, I thought that was quite bullish because they already have like a working product. They have a nice metaverse. Um, I mean, uh, what did I want to say? I forgot. Yeah, I mean, let's take a look at the website because I think it showcased very nicely. They have a doxed team. I don't think the website looks very nice right now because of the dark mode. I'm not sure it changed. On some of the site, it just messes up. But look at this, man. The graphics look uh, decent. So if I'm sc scrolling, this page is also moving. But yeah. Are we gonna play this? <laughs> Let's do a live game review on my live stream. 31 villages. Yeah, well, I'm not going to figure it out right now because you guys are probably going to fall asleep. Ah, uh, yeah, of course, you have to buy lands and stuff. Obviously, this is not just a Web2 game I can access right now. But yeah, it's probably cool. I wanted to show the team, man. Why did they... But they... Ah, uh, right here. They changed the website. I liked the the previous website more. But yeah, they got a lot of things going on. They have like conferences. You see the Apple headset with Victoria VR. So yeah, this is... Uh, they have a huge community. And I think that... Um, I don't see a lot of YouTubers talking about Victoria VR. But the chart looks terrible. Yeah. Let's just see. Let's just see what happens.
this this looks weird. Yeah. But yeah. I'm not saying buy now. I just think uh, it's an interesting project. <laughs> but the price chart doesn't look too good, man. Cryptomancer93. Hey, Blamey. Hello, my friend. How are you doing? 93. I am from 93. But let's take a look at my top gaming picks. Miria. I'm holding Miria for a long time now. I think more than a year. And the reason I'm still holding is I already took my profits and my initials. Do I say it's a good buy right now? Mm, not really. I want Alex Becker to pump my bags. I mean, the normies who are watching Alex Becker. And then I'll probably get rid of all my Maria and flip it into some low cap. Maybe I should do it right now, but I'm pretty, pretty happy with my bags right now. You know, Maria, uh, the fasting schedule is not the greatest. And I am aware of that. They have like a monthly inflation of like, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I can I can show you right now so you guys can learn how to check festings I'm not going to do a deep dive but you know globally you can see in five seconds that if a project has like shitty vesting and maybe because of such a huge amount of money is coming in that it will overtake the vesting but you gotta be just, yeah, don't gamble. You wanna make sure, you know? So I prefer other picks if you want to invest right now in gaming. So here you can see the vesting schedule, but it looks pretty, look. The yellow has to be like unlocked and every month there will be an unlock in eight days in 38 days in 96 days so yeah that's that and here you can see the percentage so yeah if i would throw my money right now into a gaming pick that'll be lit that'll be lit or gfell how's gfell doing man I totally forgot about that one. It's just sitting on my uh, cold store wallet, cold storage, cold wallet. <laughs> oh my! GFL has been consolidating for ages right now, and you know what that means, guys. If it if it will take off, it'll. It'll be massive. It'll be massive. I'm freaking bullish on it. So apparently there is some big news ahead in uh, April and May. Let's take a look at the Twitter. I haven't been on their Twitter for ages. I totally slept on GFL. 2024 is the year we will change gaming. Shall we look, do another uh, trailer review? I'll probably get a copyright strike, but yeah. Too bad. Come at me, bitch. Come at me. Trip Hawkins, you know him. Man, the team is massive. People are only talking about Trip Hawkins, but the other members are just as sick. Yeah, I believe it. How's the sound when I play uh, a trailer? Is it too loud?
Is it annoying? So what's going on? What's going on? That zombie. There's a new... Ooh. Is there a new game coming out? Ooh. That zombie. A sneak peek at GFL's newest game. That zombie is all about fun, strategy, and loads of zombies. Yeah, well, like I said, if the site looks weird, it's because of the dark mode. Yeah, because I want this to look cool and not hurting your eyes. So, yeah. That's why. So, we've got something new and super cool to share with you. It's called Dead Zombie. This is a sneak peek at our latest game. It's the third one we've brought in an outside studios, right after Soccer, Legend and Jump Pump. That zombie is almost ready, but not quite. Very advanced alpha stage. Some GFL members here have been trying it out and they can't get enough. That's good. This tells us it's going to be a big hit. Guys, this is so bullish. And as you can see, GFL is on an amazing buying zone. This is how a healthy chart looks like. And this is how a chart looks like if you want to buy. Okay. You don't want to buy here, you don't want to buy here, you don't want to buy here. Well, yeah, you want to buy here, obviously. I mean, you don't want to buy the top. And I mean, it's going sideways for ages right now and it looks healthy as... You know, the volume is freaking low. That means they just don't sell, they, they keep holding. They keep holding. So, yeah, I'm freaking bullish, man. Let's, let's go back to the site. I'm very distracted all the time. <laughs> okay. The big news is that we're getting ready to let some of you try that zombie before anyone else through a closed beta. Beta. That means you get to play it. Tell us what you think and help us make it even better. We promise to keep you updated with all the latest on that zombie, including how you can get involved in the closed beta. We are really excited about this game and we think you will be too. It's all about, it's all part of our mission to bring you the most fun and engaging games out there. So stay tuned for more updates and get ready for, for some awesome gaming. Yeah, man, that's some good news. A new game by GFL. People were like uh, very impatient on the team, but I knew it, of course. When there's, there's always silence before the storm. I'm not sure if that's a good uh, proverb in English, but it's, uh, it's a proverb in, in Dutch. <laughs> I literally just translated it. Hey, how are you doing my bro? Hey, I got two. Sure, bro, sure. Shill it to me. OTK is the best so far. Yeah, probably. I don't know. I'm I'm very bullish on Lit Lab Games, GFL, and OTK. Also on Corpo. However, the the Corpo vesting schedule is not the best. But I'm holding this one for a short to mid term, and I'll probably flip it into some other pick. Not sure if it's a gaming pick, but I'll probably flip it into some other pick. Probably like Gaspar or something. Just, uh, you know, when I'm making money with a low cap or whatever, or not a strong conviction play, I flip it into a store of value like Gaspar. Oh, and Cyber Titans is now on mobile. Yeah, it's calm before the storm. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it, that's it. I meant that. I said silence. Silence means stilte in the Netherlands, you know? And we say stilte. Stilte voor de storm. I have some AI plays, but no gaming, sadly. Too bad, my friend. 
yesterday was the AI. Yesterday was the AI uh, live stream. Crypto Nate, how are you doing, my friend? How are you doing? Is everything okay? Man, I'm so bullish on GFL. I swear, I was I was looking uh, to sell it. Now I'm joking. I've never planned to sell it, but I had like doubts to DCA. But right now, man, this is probably a good price to buy for the hundred time. But I just want you guys not to sleep on this one. <laughs> this chart, man. Let's take a look at some other picks. Pixel. Pixel doesn't have the best fasting either, but they got a huge community. One cat also has a huge community, especially Asia. And there's one thing I'm pretty bullish on one cat and one cat is not being talked about enough. I made a video on one cat when it was at the 004. So if you watched my video like two months ago or something, or three months ago, you've been up at 2x. Congratulations. And the narrative didn't even kick off. This chart also looks very bullish. It's been consolidating for uh, quite a month now. Yeah. Also, look at the markets. They have lots of markets and it's still low in market cap but this is not only gaming or meme this is more it's nft gaming metaverse uh brc20 this was one of my brc20 gems yeah man inscriptions bitcoin ecosystem so a lot of things a lot of narratives in once I'm pretty bullish on them and they also changed logo they had a different logo before so yeah they aren't sitting still and also the tel telegram groups are massive so what have they been up to guys if you don't know bitcoin cats put it on your watch list i'm freaking bullish look at this they're building the one cat chain meme plus layer 2 plus ai plus game five look at the amount of followers hey followed by crypto seth nice <laughs> cats are set to outs outshine dogs in this bull market yeah i really think that in a moment the cat narrative will pump and this these cats will overtake the dogs okay this this has nothing nothing to do with gaming but let me show you when we go to the meme section i think the cats are on top man here look at this this is a cat this is a cat guys you see life cats are taking off Okay, woof, this is not a cat. I think Brett, he looks like a cat. I don't know if it's a cat. Catman. Kimbo. By the way, I made a video on Kimbo. So if you haven't checked it already, make sure to check it because I'm quite bullish on Kimbo. They're also building. And you can build on Kimbo in the future it's quite bullish man these meme coins are <laughs> are next level i love gfl these big influencers fighting gfl will be pumping our bags when they buy at five cent yeah i know right i know i know Uh, I know uh, what you're talking about. They were all. Uh, I think a lot of YouTubers exited GFL. But yeah, like I said, it's calm before the storm. Well, I, I said silence before the storm, but 
Nikki, thank you for uh, teaching me this proverb. Do I pronounce it right? Proverb? Proverb? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, one cat. Very bullish. <laughs> Layer 2, meme, gaming, AI. What's the AI part, by the way? So I, I checked the Twitter, but let's take a look. Epic Protocol. Epic Protocol. I liked this one as well. Some guy uh, in the live stream asked me to review this one. Pretty decent. Wag me? We are currently doing tests on the mainnet and bridges. So the mainnet is already completed. I didn't even realize. Man, I slept on this one. I'm also holding this one for ages. But man, I have so many picks right now. I'm holding like 30 picks. A lot on low cap gems. But I'm, I'm planning to scale, scale down, obviously. Uh, I think in a matter of two months, just right after the halving, it really depends. I'm going to scale down. But right now, I'm just happy with my bags, man. Take some risks. Fli flipping them in my main conviction bags. I want to take a look at the site. Guys, what do you think about one cat? What do you think? The next gen entertainment ecosystem bridging the Bitcoin and EVM networks via one cat chain. Look how solid this looks. How is this still so low in market cap? I need to make some room. How much was the market cap again? One cat. Eo panaminu bailao. Yeah, almost fifty million. The volume is up also heavily. Almost one cent, guys. Come on. Yeah, it looks very bullish right now. So, let's go back to the site. Cross-chain entertainment ecosystem that bridges the Bitcoin and EVM networks via the OneCat chain. OneCat chain is modular Bitcoin layer 2 compatible with EVM, utilizing OneCat token and BTC as the gas. Bitcoin Cats ecosystem covers a wide range of products like memes, DeFi, GameFi, SocialFi, AI and VR and AR applications. What the hell, man? I think I'll just cash out all my picks and just put it on one cat. No financial advice, I'm obviously joking. <laughs> but the one cat chain testnet is live. That's lovely. Yeah. I think I'm talking about one cat for 10 minutes right now. But yeah, if you uh, want to buy one cat, it's on these markets. HDX, Gate.io. I bought it on KuCoin. KuCoin. Do you think there will be a huge crash just after the halving? Usually happens then sideways for six months. Uh, there will be a massive shakeout, yeah. But it usually don't take that long, man. I don't believe it will... Uh... Nah. I think things are very different right now with the ETFs. You know, uh, BlackRock is just keep buying the ETFs. I think they won't ever sell. I think they will just keep buying till they have everything. 
and the people buying ETFs will realize that they only have like exposure to the Bitcoin price, but not to the, you know, the self-custodial, uh, decentralized concept of Bitcoin because they are having the ETFs. But yeah, same with the silver. Uh, uh, what's the name? When you when people bought silver and they wanted to trade it for physical silver. Most of the time, uh, they weren't able to. And they got wrecked. And they just got cash instead with a little bit extra cash to keep them content or happy. But I think uh, it's, it's very difficult to say right now, but you have to be prepared. I think there will be some massive shakeout in some degree, but uh, yeah. Just keep some dry powder on the side. Don't sell all your bags to anticipate a potential crash because a lot of people will do that. And one thing that I've learned in uh, all these years in the crypto space is that uh, if like 90% of the people think something will happen, usually the opposite will happen. So yeah, just stick to your own game plan and keep the outside noise outside the problem is nobody knows nobody knows let's go back to my other picks awt what's happening with awt what's going on man By the way, guys, if you're watching, don't forget to hit the likes. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. All time chart doesn't look very good. But I know they are still building. I mean, it's not a lazy team. They have th some things coming. They are developing games. So, what's happening? So they are joining forces with, okay, I don't know these guys. I want to see the other game. It's quite a few days ago or a weeks ago. Oh yeah, the AI Colosseum. That that was <laughs> that was funny as hell. I wanted to show this. Elon one. So they have like a simulator, and you can also like. <laughs> hey, why isn't it? Is it my internet? Why are you bailing on me? Why? Hope you guys can hear me. By the way, my guy Sepril was uh, being a commentator. <laughs> what a legend. Make Mysterio sure to subscribe to and, Sepril. Um, Abisward, the official website. Yeah, man, this and cracked me what up, What we're going to talk about today is... I think we're going to see... It's Elon AI against Sam AI. I love the fact that they drop actually coins. Do you see you when Elon gets hit? He's dropping Doge coins. So yeah, this is also a part of AWT. Right. It's freaking funny. But they also have like, uh, yeah, Abyss World, like you know. Uh, they have a dark fantasy game already featured by IGN. I mean, they are quite big, like a huge community. I mean, I also cannot understand how this is only on a 4 million in market cap and some other trash games without working games are more. For example, no, I don't have any, ex yeah, I have examples, but never mind. I'm not going to trash other projects, but uh, yeah, some projects are like 15 million in market cap without a working team, without a docs team. 
I mean, without the working game, without the Ducks team, you know what I mean. Probably also the lack of, uh, it's not a lack of exchanges. I mean, Gate.io, Maxi, BitGet, those are de decent exchanges, by the way. Yeah, probably a lot of FUD because of, uh, yeah, who knows. I think the crypto world is not really, uh, how do you say it? <laughs> Predictable. It's unpredictable. Merck versus Zuckerberg. Musk versus Zuckerberg. Yeah. Man, that cracked me up. But yeah, also, AWT, lots of potential. 100x, why not? Why not? Let's take a look at Dippius. Because I put out a sell alert, a sell alert, <laughs> a buy alert ages ago. I think we up like, we made a 2x on it. But it's still f freaking cheap. Yeah, we made a 2x, but it's still freaking cheap. So they had like an old contract and they were listed on Coinbase, but they went to a new contract. So it's a new let me show you guys, let me show you. So yeah, you have the old and the new one. So the old one, just stay away. And the new one has lots of potential to also get listed on Coinbase. And people are even thinking that it's a 400 till 600 X potential available on Coinbase. Well, that's not true, but it might when the migration, I mean, Coinbase will look at it. But yeah, don't believe him. I always stay conservative guys, but they are building man. Let's take a look at X because a lot of things are going on. I'm very impatient with this one, even though we made like a two X, but, uh, it's still around 5 million in market cap. So low. And why isn't it pumping? Well, yeah, the gaming narrative didn't start yet. And that's why we have to accumulate right now. But they are executing, man. They're building. So they have a mobile app. So yeah, this is nothing. I don't, I mean, this is not something to be bullish about. But I mean, they have an upcoming release on Epic Games and yeah, I think that uh, quite bullish, man. Skill Network is coming soon to the world of Tippians, bringing a lot of surprises. Lots of things are going on. So the price movement is boring as hell, but they are just keep building under the radar. And I like to see that. Because Dippius, world of Dippians, before I say something, I don't want to make a mistake. Let's check first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to say something which is completely wrong because I almost mix it up with another gaming gem I'm eyeing. So I better keep my mouth shut right now. But yeah, a lot of things happening, man. So what is this? We are thrilled to be on top for three consecutive in the BNB chain. So they have more like 50,000 plus active users. Yeah, that's what you want to hear, man. Doesn't look bad. get rid of the sound sorry my friend why didn't Dippius get relisted by coinbase when they got a new contract since it's not their fault they got hacked yeah that's the question man i think they want to uh look at the volume first 
because it's not that much. This is not a good cash cow right now for Coinbase. And it would be if they get listed. So yeah, I actually have no clue, man. I have no clue. A lot of people are complaining also. I'm not sure. Maybe we can find some information in here. I haven't looked into Dippians for ages. But yeah, when they got out like the new contract, I immediately like bought it to anticipate the Coinbase listing. But indeed, you're right, it's taking ages. And that's why I'm being impatient with Dippius. But it's pumping. It's pumping. Hey, do I have some whales watching? Nah, I'm joking. How is everybody doing? Am I still live on Facebook? I'm curious, how many watchers do I have? Probably zero. I cannot see that. How about X? Six views. Oh, that's decent. Hello, X watchers. How are you doing? Smash the likes. I, I never had like more than five likes on a X post. But that was Depius. What about Space Falcon? Did they have some updates? Let's take a look. Let's take a look. It dipped again. It's like the team will dump after every pump. It's freaking annoying. Look at this, man. I really thought, man, that we were going to the moon. Then it went straight back again. So I have to do some more research. So it's forming a double top. That's not good. <laughs> Why? But yeah, very low in market cap. Lots of room to grow. Very lacking on exchanges. I'm not sure if, yeah, are American people able to buy it? If you're American, let me know. Kind of curious. I don't know which markets you are allowed to buy and which not. But yeah, it's a Solana ecosystem. Solana is a very bullish ecosystem for this bull run. And I think every shit coin will pump. And Space Falcon is not only a shit coin. I mean, <laughs> it's not a shit coin. It's a freaking bullish gaming studio and tech startup. And they already have a game. And you can download it and play it already. So Aviatrix game is right now live. So we have been waiting on that for a while, but yeah, now finally they have a working product. And you can download it on the App Store, Windows, Google Play, and also the Epic Game Store. And Epic Games, you know Epic Games. If you play, um, yeah, Fortnite, obviously. So they have already like 255,000 on-chain users and 33,000 total downloads. And look at this, guys, the total platform users. This is not just a shitty project. So what if this one gets to a 1 billion in market cap? <sighs> That's more than 100x. And look at the circulating supply. 87%. So yeah, people keep fighting. Keep fighting. Please. Because recently, the team is just building. Even though the price action is just terrible. Guys, the big money didn't enter the market. 
they didn't enter. Altcoin season are, is around the corner, just pack your bags right now, don't get impatient, stay stoic. When you bought here because you FOMO'd in, yeah, and now it's here, get another bag, no financial advice. But if your portfolio is like 30% down on a certain coin, or 40%, DCA, right now it's like 50% discount from all time high. Ah, uh, more. <laughs> Much more. Anyway, Fcon. Am I holding Fcon? Yes, I am. I have a pretty huge bag. To be honest, it's not a not a secret. I already mentioned Falcon a lot of times. Yeah, you're right, uh, Nick. Most of the time, I. Uh, you know what it is when I wake up I have a lot of things to do I cannot say that uh, yeah how can I how can I rephrase it man I have a lot of personal stuff going on not with myself but I mean I need to be there for certain people and most of the time I don't even have time to go live but right now I just came home and I actually uh, wanted to go sleep because I'm tired as hell. But then I'm thinking like, I need to, I need to build, man. I cannot be lazy, especially not these times. So last minute, I always think like, okay, I'll go live. Because setting up a live stream takes also like 15 minutes. And most of the time, yeah, when I go live, I just... I don't know it from, I don't know before. Jesus Christ, my, my sentences are terrible right now. 45 minutes live right now. I think I, uh, I'm going to wrap it up, man. This was a very short live stream, but I think people are uh, partying on a Saturday night. And I'm kind of tired, man. I had a busy day. And right now, maybe I'll be live tomorrow, but I'm not sure. But next time, I try to uh, to give you guys an announcement. I really need to set up a set up a schedule. You're right. I need more structure in my life. But yeah, guys. Thank you, man. Thank you for watching, Nick. Thank you for keeping me uh, some company. It's kinda, kinda, how do you say it? Not, not crowdy? Yeah, I really need to sleep, man. Guys, thank you for watching, man. Nick, I see you uh, in the Discord. Bye-bye, bye-bye.